Hey guys, this is Vix. Welcome to Mentoring Monday. I'm still in beautiful Park City, Utah, so enjoy the mountain views. Today I'm going to finish my three-part series on Do You Love Your Job? I'm going to focus on more of the final and most important step to figuring out what my dream job looks like. Surround yourself with passionate people who are already doing what you're doing. In part one, I talked about the seven warning signs that tell you when it's time to find a new job. If you're in the 80% who don't enjoy their job, now might be the time to get to work and watch this three-part series. In part two, I talked about how to find the work that you love to do. Once you dive into yourself and figure this out, the final and critically important step is to surround yourself with passionate people who are already doing what you're doing. When I started my own business, one of the first things I did was to find three older and more experienced mentors who were successfully running their business, running their own companies. I did this for my own survival. It was life-changing, so critical to my success. You'll find that successful older people often enjoy helping younger people to listen to them and work hard. They get to relieve their success through you. When I decided to get more serious about my music career, one of the first things I did was to find two mentors who were already successful in the music production industry and also running a top 10 label in trance. This has helped me immensely. Jim Rohn said that you're the average of the five most important people you spend the most time with. Now that I'm older and have gained more experience, I spend a lot of time getting to know people at a deeper level. But I'm trying to find out, and rather quickly, is this the type of person I want to spend time with? I don't want to waste time with toxic people who don't share my similar values, interests, and the need for positive growth and improvement. Life's just too short. There's no bigger life habit to getting from where you are now to where you want to be than getting the right people around you. They can change everything for the better. One of the biggest and most positive changes in my life happened when I met my wife. She helped me focus on long-term constructive habits rather than the short-term destructive habits I was doing at the time we met. The people around you matter. That especially includes the people around you on your job. When you interview for a new job, you need to understand the company culture. Do they value and develop their employees? What about the person you work for or you will work for? Your new boss. Does he or she enjoy teaching and developing people? How many of us have had terrible bosses and eventually left the company for a better job? All of us. You actually want to ask your future boss questions to find out if he or she would be someone you enjoy working for. Could they provide examples of people who worked for them, who were trained, inspired, developed, and promoted? Do they enjoy mentoring people? Some bosses don't. I was very fortunate that I learned a great deal from the last two bosses I had before starting my business. My last boss literally taught me how to run a business, and that for that, I'm forever grateful to him. He helped me see greatness in myself. Getting the right people around you to help you maximize your strength is mission critical. The people you surround yourself with change everything. You don't need to change your goals, just change your surroundings. You want to be around people who inspire possibility. Here are three pillars that will help you and they are 100% within your control. While we cannot control things like a recession, company downsizing, and market conditions, we can control the following. One, learn and keep learning about yourself to determine what you love and you don't love doing. Two, push your limits and learn about your own impossible and keep pushing that. Three, surround yourself with inspirational people and get away from the people who bring you down. I started this habit of finding people smarter than myself to help me when I was in college. I'd look for the smartest person in the class 
and ask if he or she would be my study partner. I found that many of these smart people were shy and did not have great interpersonal skills. I was outgoing and helped them meet new people and help them push their limits on interpersonal skills. They helped me better understand difficult course material. Quite often, when you look to surround yourself with more passionate people, there are skills that you can offer to help them. You might want to ask yourself, why would they want to work with me? You may have some complementary skills that they need, but you'll never know until you start asking people to help you. Life belongs to the askers is one of my favorite quotes. I tell people this all the time. So what have you got to lose? Nothing. I promise you that you'll go from ordinary to extraordinary if you surround yourself with extraordinary people. This will become your new normal. The choice is pretty simple. Hang around with people that tell you you're stupid and it cannot be done, or surround yourself with people who inspire possibility. Do the things that inspire you so you can be an inspiration to other people. But we cannot find that unless we know what we're looking for. We have to do the work on ourselves and discover what we love to do. Another way to look at it is what is the work we can't not do? Discover this and live it. In summary, I hope that you have realized that you and you alone can control finding the job or the opportunity that lines up with your passions. If you're willing to do the work, you can easily make this happen. No excuses, but you have to figure it out. Another quote I like is, if you're not willing to go within, then you're willing to go without. Feel free to message me if you have any questions or need advice on anything in this three-part series of Do You Love Your Job? Do the work, and the answer will be yes. So until next week, this is Big signing off. Remember, no wine here. It's never too late to reinvent yourself. Cheers.